here we are. We have continued our freighter jump and we're hunting for the freighter. This is our Cobia Prime reporting live from today's freighter hunt as we explore the universe looking for a better ride. Currently I am driving a large phallic symbol and I would like to change that. So we are on the road looking for a better ride. All right, so there's me. Yeah, I'd like to change things up. But while we're looking around, we're gonna explore this system. All right, so just showed up. I put down a base over here because it's a cute place and I thought, you know, might as well try it. But let's continue on. Kind of cool, let's see what's in here. And it's flourishing. Oh, good luck. Man, a wonderful luck! The gods of the Atlas! Thank you. You know, the other planet I just found was also a wonderful planet. Let's see if this is better. Let's see. Let's outdo ourselves today. <laughs> Alright, so number one, we want... Animals and creatures and aliens, predators and hostile substance. Haha! <laughs> I beat you. One of the great things you can do is when you're trying to outrun pirates, you can board a freighter, board a space station, board an anomaly, you can board all kinds of things. And you can board a planet. Yeah. Hello? Aren't you interesting? Always want to do a quick scan and much. Where are you? Guacamole, and we're up. As soon as I find a trading station, I like to get up out of the atmosphere, get my bearing, and double punch it! Yeah! Alright, well, here we go. I like landing on trading posts when I'm discovering new planets because it's a nice base of operations. Whoa. There we go, purple trees, perfect. Purple trees. Okay, land, land! Nope. All right, come on, sling wagon and smack them. Oh, just it. Ah! All right, cool, this place has caverns. It's a trading post next to some caverns, which I love that, because you know, come on. Who doesn't love pits? Caverns in the, the blistering floods with pricey sentinels. Oh. Alright, so here's the words of advice. Thank you. Thank you so much. You should just say Gravitino Bars. Gravitino Bars. Bet you, bet you, let's find them. Let's look for this because that's why they're so frenzy. Apparently, they don't know how to take care of their balls. They just leave them out in the open, which I don't think is a very good idea. Oh, it's hot. Oh, there they are. Look, I picked up the balls. Big point. All right, look. That's why they are frenzy. Every planet with the Gravitino balls. Ah! It's so hot. Burning. I found solitude. I 
clammy down here. Very clammy. But here, let's find out. Let's not waste our time. What are you? Oh! You have the metal content of... Mmm, the calcium secretion. It's very nice that you secreted calcium in here. Thank you, planet. Alright, well, I should probably arm my stuff before I go out and keep building this. La la la. And I hear some action in dissatisfaction. How are you? Yeah, so I'm cooking nanites in my backpacks because, you know, that's what you do. That's what you do. You have to cook nanites on the go. They can be useful. And he agrees! 
Do you hear that? That's the sound of an exotic! That's the sound of an exotic, folks! Where am I? My nearest trading post I must be! Ah! Alright, take some time! My side fly! Ah! Come on, every time you hear an exotic, it's worth checking out. Let's go. Quickly! 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 Quicker! Ah, it's a little yellow one! Did you see that? Ah, come on! Come on, get over there quickly! Ah, it's a fun little exotic! Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Ah! Yeah. Come on! Ah! The power of the tree. No! It's flying away! It's flying! Oh, Ow! Ow, I love the yellow one. It's like souped up bananas. It's been shoved in a Pepsi can or something. Come on! Come on! Reach it! Reach it! Ah, you're left! Son of a gitter! <laughs> ah! Hey, look. I was so distraught I actually queefed out a scam. What the hell's the matter with me? Okay, well, now we know. In this system, a cool little sporty yellow exotic exists, and it only will take time before I find it again. Yeah? Did you hear me? Huh? Right in your ear. It only will be time until I find it again. Or your Hegan. Hmm. All right, well, that sucks. But you're nice. Very nice, very nice. Well, moving on. Hey, another one. All right, well, we have discovered a few locals on this planet, and I think our job is not done. Let's see. Wink. There's 11 of you. 11 on Rigar Beta. Mm, this is where we are. All right, let's continue. And... Oh -ho 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 -ho. The knowledge stones moving forward. I should probably call it get some help on this one. Not you. Not you. Yeah, it's the helpful one. Alright, horny, let's go. Yes, I want you to be ready so I can ride your infantile freaking body around the temples don't eat me. Yes, I touched your balls just then. See, as soon as you touch the balls, they come out of nowhere. Really, really, really protect their personal space. Ah, you see me? I'm hiding behind here. I'm fluent. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, moving on. Excuse me. Oh, you didn't see me. Sorry. Ah! Hide on Hide on this side of the mountain so he does not see me. For some reason, they're terrible with- God, more balls! Move away from the- There's just balls everywhere! Look at them! The place is just covered in balls! What's wrong with you people? Yeah, cover up! Just put them somewhere- Uh-oh. She's heartbroken. That's not cool. I'm coming! Oh. Ah! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Where'd she go? You can't climb up the hill? Where are you? You get in between me and my pet! That's it. No longer the patient for you. Alright? Thank you very much. There he is. She's feeling disgruntled! That's not even fair! I'm coming! I'm coming, disgruntled one! Are you too little for mountains? Hey, hey, you're disgruntled. Hold on. Oh, let me make you feel better. I know, mountains are really hard for little creatures. But one day you're gonna be big and strong. Yeah, and we're gonna. Ah! Look at me! <laughs> yes! You can take the weight of the building here. <laughs> what? What? You've never seen a grown man ride a puppy before? Come on! Have a good day! Boom! Puppy, boom! Big girl! I've ever seen. Okay, 
incredibly talented. And you don't even, like, flinch during the storm. Very proud of you. Good job. All right, let's go. Down here. Still no sign of life that I'm looking for, except for this guy. A porcupine. Nice. Excuse me, porcupine. I don't know who's running around slime and stuff, but it's not natural. But I think somebody needs to report these converted little aliens doing such. Yeah, what is that? Yeah. I'm on a mission, folks, to document the life forms of the I discover as to keep track of what is growing in my own backyard. Uh oh. Hold on, hold on. Ah, I sent me when I was in the air! I to you right now. Sorry. Run away from you like we've never even seen each other. Right? The other side of the system. I don't know who you are. I'm not trying to look at your frigates. Okay? It's not the day for frigate watching. This is the day for noxious gaseous planets. Ah! Let's go! See him, Tau? See him, Tau is our next stop, ladies and gentlemen. To check out this fungal mold inhabited copper ammonia magnetized ferret place and see what we can find. Probably what I just mentioned. It may be an It may be an object of interest. Let's see what this object of interest is. Ah, it's one of these objects. And I'm not very interested. Same thing happens every time you across one of these 
crashed, forgotten freighters. It's a trap, folks. Yeah, as soon as you shoot the cargo bins, pirates come out of nowhere and they attack you. Which makes me wonder, why couldn't you just shoot the cargo thing yourself, pirates? What kind of lazy, back-ass or pirate just sits there and wastes all that time waiting for some unsuspecting traveler like myself to come through, shoot the booty, and then attack me for the booty? It makes zero sense. It's probably why they don't have any job skills, and they're pirates. Yeah? Mm, it makes you wonder. You know? Enough of that. We're about to land. Yikes. Alright, I like to needle those straight to the planet, not really giving a hell about what's going on at all the very last second. All in one breath. Okay, here we are. Now, once I've determined that I'm... Hey, what are you? Alright, once I've determined that I'm close enough to the planet's surface, I like to deploy a scan. And like I've mentioned before, trading posts are a wonderful put down to explore a new planet. Do we have one? Right here! Yes! Eight minutes away, so we're going to pump it up and come down. I'm really not interested right now in driving three hours to Wichita, but I can just come up and pull some up. Wink. Hello and zero. Let's just pray that I can land. Coming in quick, coming in quick. Yikes! Let's go around and do the slingshot land. Hello. All right. Well, apparently they're not ready to receive me. Are they now? Hiya! They are. Nails and slingshot landing, ladies and gentlemen. You're about to see what this planet is about. Everybody, lower your voices. If there's children in the room, I suggest you avert their eyes. Here we go. Three, two, one. We've got corrosive sleet storms, and they require the orthodoxy. Oh. I'm not even orthodox. I don't even know what they're talking about. Let's, let's find out if there's somebody worth talking to down here. <laughs> and no. Wait. At that angle. There's something going on with your forehead, sir. Do you have a headache? I would. Let's, let's move on. Since we're in the same system, I think we're going to see the same kind of spaceships because they only have a few dealerships out here, and you get what you got, right? You get what you got. All right, we're scanning for life forms. Ha! All right, you know what? Whoa! Let's do it. And let's bring in the comedian, because this guy is a doofus. Come on, doofus. Oh, wait. You always need love. No matter how doofus you are, you always need love. Every doofus needs love. You know why I know? Because firsthand, I'm a doofus. All right, let's go. Let's find some stuff, weirdo. Mm -hmm. First, what I'd like to discover is some rendering. Right? Wouldn't that be nice? My day. Is everything okay? Right? Well, guess we're doing this hardcore. I don't know what that smell is. It's like sulfur or something. Huh? Did you lay a rub egg? Did you? Ah, what is that? What is that? Who is attacking me without my permission? Post up on here. Boink. Oh. Nice. Nice. You can't even step on this mushroom. What kind of mushroom? Oh, you. Okay, you can. If you get on this mushroom, stop eating that mushroom. Who said you could dance? Uh, you know what? I forgot. That's why I bring you along. You're the comedian. All right, weirdo. Let's scan. Scanning the land for life. Don't see anything. Not at all. Looks like there's, like there's life from where I came from. All right, let's take this. And wonderful. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Oh, there it is. 
someone's little tiny thing. Man, my, what is going on? Quink. It looks like my other multi-tool is acting up. It's on the front, so we're gonna go back to the original OG multi-tool I've been using the whole time. Hey, you. Do you need something? Well, I think you need something. See? Look, I'm intuitive. You need a pat on the head. There you go. And yes, thank you very much. Okay, good. Let's go. Come on. My goodness. My goodness. It's like you're a baby and you need to be constantly reassured, which honestly, I don't mind doing. I know you need your needs. Okay, let's go. Let's go. There's got to be more than just two-legged deer species running around here. Okay. Hey, big ears. Keep your ears open for that exotic. Right? Don't forget, we want that bad boy to land because it's like a yellow Ferrari and I can travel in style. Yeah, see, I knew you would agree with me. What's down here? You notice the lack of Gravitino balls? Yeah, not many Gravitino balls here on this planet, which is good luck. Right? What do you think? I think you agree. Yes, show your butt to me. And many animal species showing their butt is a sign of subservience, right? They're like, look at my butt. Hey, watch out. I want to look at your butt. That? Can you give me some space? My goodness, you're clinging. You're clinging. Ha ha ha. No. No. Stay away. Watch out. Ah! Okay, that cannot hover. No, you cannot. Unless your ears grow. You don't have to get a Dumbo Raptor. Ooh. Just relax. It's going to be okay. It's boring work. I know. Why do you think I brought you know you along, right? This is one of the boringest things you can do is just run around and look at planets and have nobody else to talk to. You. Come on, Herbie. What do you want to do? You want to go down there? All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's just all oh, reckless abandonment down into the valley. Oh, hey, I see something down there. Mm, see, you trust your gut and your gut. Ha ha ha! You look so adorable running down your hill. Come on, do it some more. Oh, 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 look at you. Ah, uh, you know what? Very entertaining. You know, for years before they allowed you companions, the Federation's had us all bored to death. We couldn't uh, interact with cute animals. They said it was an ethical uh, restriction. <laughs> well, I'm glad the new chancellor opened up things. Now look, you with your little arms and massive hands and just waltz down the mountain. Thank you. Excuse me, you're gonna get me tripped and trip me up. Huh? Hey, I don't wanna face plant. Ah ha, you face planted. See, look at you. You can't be so clumsy. Look where you're going. Don't stare at me. Okay? Well, this is an enormous. I was going to say something that's incredibly inappropriate about this plant, but we're going to move on because this guy's here. Hey, hold on. Something wrong? Hey, look at this. Are you one of those creatures that has eggs on your back? What have you been eating? Why is your face all red? No, I'm not going to offer him food. I think he's been doing stuff already. Oh, he moves. Look at you. What is that? I hear something. See that? It's a shadow! Look at me! I'm freaking out over a shadow. See, you gotta be careful. In the space. You never know what's gonna happen. Come on, let's slide down here. Come on, you have to work on your sliding. Ready? Watch, watch me, watch that. Ready? To do, to do, to do. Ready, slide. You gotta lean back. Lean, you gotta put your weight into your exosuit, all the way into the back. Forgive me, you're not wearing an exosuit. You know what? Here. This is gonna help you with your slide. I know, I know, you're so needy, it's so good. There you go, and there you go. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a little weight on you. You're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. Watch, boink, and then we're gonna make sure it matches the environment, and then boom, we'll put a little bit more weight on you. So now, you can slide down the mountain, okay, Herbie? Right, it's gonna be so much fun. So much fun, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Look, got you all hooked up. 
You're like a ninja now. Look, Kirby the ninja. Yeah, do your ninja dance. Okay. Now I think it will be a lot easier for you to slide down the mountain because you have weight on your hips. Now that's how I do it. Okay. Well, it looks like we came down here for no reason. Right? Well, we had a good talk. All right, Herbie. Let's climb up this mountain. Oh! Yoink! And yoink! Super jumps! And ah! Uh, hey! Uh, one of these. And several of those. Hey! And goodbye. Oh, what is this? Oh, my God. Yeah, so on top of you! Ha! Yeah, excuse me. Ha! Ah, look at you! That's your incredibly oh. ugly baby. It's so ugly, I thought it was another species. Mm. I'm sorry about your luck. It's gonna be okay. It will be okay. Later on, when you're older, you'll be able to get alien creature therapy. Yes, and if those of you watching didn't know that that existed, it does exist. There are alien creature whisperers out there, and they're no longer called creature whisperers because apparently that's not politically correct. So now they are therapists. They are alien life form therapist guys, and they're incredibly expensive. And so my advice is just spend time with your pet. Anything, if you spend time with your pet, You'll get to learn them and their little nuances, and you'll build a bond, and you won't have to spend a lot of money. Ha! Ah! A predator! It's about time. Boogie, 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 it's about time. This is what we're doing. Hey, you have lasers. You want to shoot him? Let's see what's up with him. He's incredibly slow. This guy is slow and methodical. Yes, he's a turtle. He's a turtle species. Okay, what do we do? Circle the circle! From a- AHHHHH! Where'd he go? 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 Did you scare him off? I was hoping you would shoot him. Did he fall down the hill? Okay, let's try to locate our friendly predator. I'm gonna post up in these golden sacks. Okay. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? All right, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the move. We have located a predator on this planet, some sort of hyper-violent turtle. At least that's what it looks like. I can only describe it as a canine-ish turtle of some sort. And for those of you that are not from Earth, I have no other way of explaining what a canine, turtle-looking, aggressive predator would be. So, if you're out of luck, you might want to check your intergalactic encyclopedia and see if you can cross-reference Earth, turtles, and canines with a third degree of predator surgery. You might find what I'm talking about, or you can just do the hard work and learn how to translate Karen. All right, here we are. We're back to the space post. It's actually not a space post, a trading post. Excuse me. My heart is a little on edge right there with the unknown predator location. Some of these predators, if you have not discovered, can jump. I have had predators jump as high as 30 meters, folks, and bite me in the patootas. If you don't know what a Pachutas is, I can't show you on a G-rated show. Oh, we just made it to the top. Very top. I gotta recharge my batteries. Ooh, my goodness. That was rough. To the bottom and back. Okay. Ah, let's breathe. Okay, not a bunch of visibility here. Not much visibility at all. There's my ship. Glad it's still here. I heard there was a pirate problem. If you don't remember earlier, folks, we engaged pirates on the way in. And... Looks like the only thing I need to do is I need to... register that 
predator. Let's see if we fully registered the predator. We did. It's Eris Dokai or Doki. -i. Okay, good. He digs underground nest. Good for you. Good for you. You're a very large beast. Cool, and you have quick jaws and sharp eyes. Oh, you hunt darting little creatures. Good. So then, if I need a rodent exterminator, it would be Aerith Dodik. -e -e -e. Thank you. Thank you. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. That's all I needed to do, folks. I am on a journey today, not only to discover new systems, but what is going on here? You guys can't get a hotel room. Look. It's all the way inserted. What's wrong with you people? You know, these new living ship updates are a little rambunctious. You know, you have to avert your eyes. Look at that. Look at it. Just look at it. It's unnatural. And, whoo, you are a frisky piece of machinery, Killer Prime. Yeah, is that guy over there waiting in line? What's going on here? Oh. Man, now I need to get you all service and moved all over. Hey, 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 stop it! My god! My god, the machinery of this era. Woo! Yeah, you know what? I can't even tell you how the days like this happen. I can't even tell you. All right, let's just, you know what? Let's just call it a break. Let's just upgrade the ship real quick. Yeah? You know, hey you, you know, corn dog. We're going to the anomaly. If I come out from the back and you're sitting in some dude's lap, that's it. I'm switching out ships. You're going to get grounded, okay? I can't have hybrid ships going on. I can't have you sharing your AI and spooging uh, a, a ion juice all over the place, okay? Control yourself, man. Keep your fluids to yourself. My goodness, I have to. Look at me. I'm all self-contained in an exosuit, right? I don't have the luxury of swapping stuff. I gotta wait until I get back to Earth. And I expect the same from you. Okay? Safety first. If you're gonna ship it out, you gotta wrap it up. You gotta wrap that ship up. Do you understand, Pillar Prime? I don't want to see you sticking your nose in anybody's stuff again. My goodness. God, I wasn't, you know, it like shocked me. I'm thinking about predators and turtles turn around and whoo -hoo, what a visual like I saw the whole thing you didn't even cover up yeah and you're quiet now you always got stuff to say be quiet now you're embarrassed why you just run around you got a bunch of animals okay anyway anyway circle out of this thought process let's just back up out of it and uh, you know what if you don't do it again you just can you know control your urges move forward because we can't be anyway yeah, okay i said i would leave it alone okay so i'm just gonna drop it i'm gonna drop it just drop it okay so what's up you forgot your codes are we just stuck here mm -hmm. you thinking about your little you know thing come on let's get us in there come on find those codes unlock it can't want you know i don't want to wait here forever you know jesus oh ah see Look at all those people! My goodness, it's a busy day in the anomaly today! Whoa! Nice! That is crazy! Look at this, ladies and gentlemen! We are experiencing thousands upon thousands of travelers in the anomaly today! This is insanity, folks! Have we finally broken the simulation? Is it finally dispersing? Is this the end? What is this incontinence? It looks like we are entering in and out of multiple dimensions as I speak, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harkovia Prime. There might only be one witness to this madness, the one viewer of our live broadcasted show, ladies and gentlemen. This might be it. We might be experiencing singularity look at the heads up display it is insane we are entering the nexus in a multiplicity like i have never experienced before we're getting closer so close ladies and gentlemen 
we are being surrounded by thousands upon thousands of travelers coming to and fro their multiple selves alive and visible. It is a shock to the senses, ladies and gentlemen. This is amazing. I don't know if you are seeing what I'm seeing, but as this plays out in front of me, it is clear, ladies and gentlemen, we are own this simulation is not the only simulation that exists. I don't know how much I can take of this, ladies and gentlemen. This jarring back and forth is making my stomach a little queasy. Seems as if I am becoming part of this interdimensional multiplicity, this universal. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, I can feel a presence of the multitudes within myself. There are others like me present in this very moment. I am, what is this? I cannot. Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing this for the first time. This is Parkovia Prime reporting from the anomaly 